Thank you, sir. In April 1970, the University of Oklahoma student body president, Josh Lee, called a meeting to determine the role of the university in the national military effort during peace and war, and thus will form the organization we all know now today as the University of Oklahoma Army ROTC program. About 98 years after Josh Lee's call to arms, Lieutenant Colonel Kyle Breed drafted and submitted an Army white paper to University President David Warren to propose ideas within the realm of the possible for a robust centennial celebration of the Army ROTC program because, after all, you only get one centennial. Between two fine professors of military science, two university presidents, and a world-class Army ROTC staff, we all lived that centennial celebration over the weekend of September 22nd, 2018, when the Army West Point football team rolled into Norman, Oklahoma. Who oh, Army? The focus of this ROTC program and the centennial celebration <laughs> have always been to put cadets at the center of the conversation. Because without cadets, why would any of us be here anyway? And our cadets sure did shine at every point and under every spotlight representing the Sooner Battalion in its 100 years of history properly. The Centennial Celebration kicked off on Wednesday with a group of, group of cadets led by Captain Robert Roberts serving at the OU Children's Hospital. Our OTC cadets and members of the Sooner Spirit Team met with, played with, and apparently did PT with the children at the hospital. <laughs> Red, did he beat you? Yeah, he beat you. <laughs> And there was one epic Nerf gun battle to follow that they are still talking about today. <laughs> Thursday brought the opportunity to throw the University President Jim Gallagher out of a perfectly good airplane from 12,000 feet above the airborne. <laughs> U.S. Army Spe Special Operations Black Daggers Parachute Demonstration Team was an awesome addition to the Centennial Celebration and provided an opportunity to thank key OU influencers uh, with a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Captain Ivan Wood was the jump master in charge of all things airborne, and no one would have exited that perfectly good airplane without his hard work and great hair. Let's take a look at these couple of pictures here. This one, that was the President's idea. <laughs> and uh, if I may, take this opportunity to promote the program's Instagram page. Follow at time OU Army ROTC on your mobile device for pictures and updates throughout the year. The uh, Cadet Public Affairs Officers do a great job learning this account. <laughs> Friday, September 21st, saw the arrival of what has to be the biggest military delegation ever to descend upon this campus. Thanks to a transformative donation to, to benefit all three of the university's Army and ROTC programs, President Gallagher hosted a dinner in honor of Jim and Miriam Mola. In attendance were the likes of General Michael Murray, Commander of the United States Army Futures Command, no big deal. Lieutenant General Darrell Williams, Superintendent of the United States Military Academy. Woo -hoo! Mr. Kevin O'Fell himself, CASA North, Oklahoma North. Major General Michael C. Thompson, Adjutant General of the Oklahoma National Guard. Woo -hoo! For those of you keeping score at home, that is a four, three, two, and one star flag, in addition to the CASA flag posted in the room that evening. It was a big room. This program was privileged to lead the color guard at the dinner that night, and cadet color guard commander Alex Gonzalez did superbly as always. Alex, well done. The color guard was supported that night, and at most, as at most color guard presentations, by Sergeant First Class James Rubel, our master drill and ceremony since the OIC. A portion of the mobile donation, as, as previously mentioned by Lieutenant Colonel Mao, will go towards the rehabilitation of our historic armory. At this time, we'll show a video depicting an artist's rendering of a rehabilitated armory.
12 months hence after that. <laughs> On Saturday morning, September 22nd, 2018, Oklahomans were greeted by the Daily Oklahoman with a front page above the fold article about your Sooner Battalion and its century of service to the nation. This article was a compliment to numerous other media mentions throughout the week, specifically in the Norman Transcript, SoonerSports.com, and local television stations. The VIP crowd from Friday night again congregated at the Armory, along with Undersecretary of the Army, the Honorable Ryan D. McCarthy, and Senator Jim Inhofe. Cadet Matthew Walters did a fantastic job leading them all on a tour and explaining the significance of the history written on the walls of the Armory. Alumni from all over the globe, many of you are, who are here in this room tonight, gathered at the Armory for the tailgate, well, the tailgate of the century. Fort Sill Fire Center for Excellence hosted a static display of nine pieces of field artillery and air defense artillery equipment along the Brooks Mall. Additionally, the Fort Sill, Fort Sill Historic Field Artillery Half Section provided a glimpse into what Josh Lee's ROTC of 1917 might have looked and felt like. Sergeant First Class Benjamin Fletcher and Mr. Matt Brown worked hard to build relationships with Fort Sill and the OU Police Department in order to bring this initiative to life. To kick off pre-game festivities, the Black Daggers delivered the official game ball from the sky. Then cadets, alumni, and members of the Oklahoma Army National Guard partnered to hold and unfurl a field-sized American flag while the Oklahoma Army National Guard aircraft, piloted by OU Army ROTC alumni, buzzed the press box from the skies above. Isn't that a pretty picture? <laughs> Halftime began with an announcement of the MOBA's transformative gift, gift, and the U.S. Army was honored to present a George Washington replica flintlock pistol to the MOBA's as a token of the entire organization's appreciation. Then, a truly remarkable halftime show was kicked off by an impressive display of precision and might of the United States Army Silent Drill Platoon, followed by a passing review of the Sooner Battalion and a truly impressive display of marching by the pride of Oklahoma. We extend a deep and heartfelt thanks to Brian Britt, the director of the pride, and all of you students who are part of the on-field demonstration and display of support and recognition of the Army ROTC program. Give it up for the pride. <laughs> Additional honors that the university paid to this program throughout the game include Sooner salute to the legendary Bob and Bill Ford. Chick fil A, kicking for chicken. The one and only Conrad Carolampus Esquire. Wasn't that the most exciting team in your field goal you ever did, Sam? Conrad, we got any uh, collegiate eligibility left? We might, we might be bringing back there for a kid. And it was a true honor and a real tip of the hat from the university to the Oklahoma Army National Guard and the 40% of our cadets who serve in the simultaneous membership program. To, to host the Thunderbird patch on the back of the Army football, or on the back of the Super Football helmets for the game. I like to call this picture Murray Smash. <laughs> Is it true? Um, oh, yeah, there was a football game, too. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> At this time, I'll call forward uh, your Cadet Sergeant Major Dylan White to offer an invocation before dinner is served. <laughs> 